Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I'm in my car again. I've been running around all day. Today's Monday, by the way. And I've been doing errands. I just got my nails done, as you guys saw. And I did a really a pretty, like, kind of ombre glitter look. I want it to look like I dipped my fingers in glitter. And I wanted to do silver and be all sparkly because Vegas is in two days. I am leaving on Wednesday. So that's why I'm running around. I'm trying to get all of my errands done. I need to pack today. I need to just do like last minute things. I stopped by Chop to get some lunch. I devoured this salad. I got a Mexican Caesar with roasted chicken. It was so good. This is my first meal of the day. I like didn't even have time to have breakfast. I did go to Starbucks though, but yeah, I literally had no time. So I just picked up a salad. So I'm literally eating in my car because I need to go to the grocery store. I need to go like get stuff for dinner and also I want to bring snacks on the plane then I also need to um, do a self tan routine I self tanned a few days ago I don't know if you can tell but I did self tan a little bit um, I want to do it one more time before we go so I need to do that when we get home I made a checklist of everything I needed to get done today and I need to do so much work I want to record pre-record some videos so that I can upload while I'm gone and we're only gonna be gone for like technically three nights but we're gonna be there for like four full days so um, it's not that long, but I still want to, you know, make sure I'm regularly uploading while I'm gone. I like to do that every time I go on a trip. <clears throat> there is literally something. <coughs> also, the pollen this year has been absolutely terrible. Oh my God. I literally went on a walk on Friday and I was totally fine when I woke up in the morning. I went for a walk and I was in the woods it was like trees everywhere literally in the forest i went on a walk and it was only for 10 minutes we came back inside and as soon as we got back inside i literally had trouble breathing um i have shortness of breath i was coughing and i couldn't breathe i thought i was having an asthma attack so i had to like get hooked up on my nebulizer machine i have one at home it didn't really help um so yeah i basically like had serious asthma because of the pollen it's been so bad <clears throat> and I feel like I'm either choking on a food or the pollen is bad again. I had the windows open, so I needed to put them up. But anyway, is anyone else experiencing super bad allergies this year? Because it has been so crazy. I don't know if it's like all over the country, but in the DMV, it's been really bad. Everyone I know, literally everyone has allergies here. Or if they didn't in the past, they do now. So I'm just excited to get to Vegas because there's no pollen there i won't have allergies there i love the air in vegas because it's just so dry granted it's really hot but it's like a good hot like i remember last time i went there it was probably over 100 every single day we went in like end of may beginning of june so it was super hot but it felt good like it was breezy dry air it felt so good so i'm very excited to go there for the air and just to have fun we're gonna do so many fun things we're gonna go to a pool party, we're gonna go to the Chippendales show, um, we're gonna go to dinner, the club, we're gonna have so much fun. My girlfriend's turning 30 years old, so we're gonna, we're gonna have a good time and I will vlog that trip. Yeah, that's what's going on, life updates, and the plan for today's vlog, so it's gonna be a very productive pre-travel vlog. I also need to stop by Target, I totally forgot. I need to get some um, travel, travel wipes, and some more hand sanitizers and you know target has that really nice travel section um so yeah that's the plan i'm gonna finish my salad and then i need to start driving and go to my next destination i don't know how much i'll vlog uh like me out but i will definitely vlog and check in with you guys when i get home and i need to start packing when i get home because tomorrow i have a really busy day like i have to like go visit like my parents i have to go just do a bunch of like doctor stuff um, and then Wednesday we go. Our flight is at 5 p.m., which is amazing. I love, like, daytime flights. I hate morning flights. So, um, I'll head to the airport probably around, like, 2 o'clock. And me and Ida, we're flying together. And then two of our other girlfriends, they're flying together. We're all, like, flying separately. It's, like, a group of seven of us, and we're all flying separately. Um, so... It'll be fun. I'm excited to vlog that trip. I'm excited for you guys to, uh, see what we do. And, oh, to see my outfits, which I did post a short on my um, channel on my short section of my YouTube page if you want to see the outfits I'm gonna be wearing in Vegas you can go check out that short I just uploaded that yesterday but I'll also show a little bit in the vlog when I'm packing so all right guys um, that's a lot of ranting for me on my part I'm gonna finish my salad get going and I will check in with you guys later
All right, I'm back home in my comfies because we're gonna be doing a lot of moving around today. I had to make myself another cup of coffee. I am so tired today. I haven't been this tired in so long. I really don't know what it is. Maybe it's allergies. Doesn't allergies make you tired or fatigued? So it could be that, but yeah, I got my other coffee and I'll do a little quick Target haul. I mainly just got stuff for the trip and then other random things I needed. I needed more of the cotton pads to take my makeup off and to exfoliate my face. So I got this three pack of the basic cotton rounds. I think it was like $5 for three packs. I usually would actually get those from the Dollar Tree. Just a tip, they have like all those like basic beauty essentials, like all the tools, like tweezers, eyelash curlers, cotton pads, cotton rounds, all that kind of stuff. So I usually would go there, but I just didn't have time today. Um, so I grabbed those and then I'll start off with the little foodies I got. I got some snacks for the plane just cause it's always so expensive at the airport. Um, the only thing I'm gonna buy at the airport is a cold water bottle, like one of those huge ones. I always need one of those big ones with me. So for snacks, I got a few of the sweet or the smart sweets, the little candies that have like less than five grams of sugar. It's like, what do you call it? Like replicas, like uh, imitation or knockoffs of popular candies, like these uh, Sour Blast Buddies they're called. It's supposed to be like the Sour Patch Kids, but these only have two grams of sugar and they all have zero grams of fat. And they actually taste pretty good. I've actually had all these before and even though they're zero sugar or like less than five grams of sugar, it's still pretty good. So this one is a little imitation of Swedish, Swedish fish. These are called sweet fish. And then these are some gummy worms. And then I also got some snack mixes. I got this Mexican street corn uh, trail mix. I've never tried it before, but that sounds great. And then I got some honey roasted cashews. Cashews are my favorite nut. Out of all the nuts, cashews are my favorite. So that's all I got for snacks. And then for all the travel size stuff, I got my wet wipes for sensitive skin. I also got some makeup remover. And then I got just random, you know, necessities. I got a pack of gum, got some toothpaste. I got a couple of the hand sanitizers. I got some sunscreens cause we're gonna be outside tanning at the pool and it's gonna be really strong with the sun. So I got the Sunbum Face Screen SPF 7D. I always like to use really high SPFs like 50, 60, 70, 80. I still get tan, but I obviously don't get sunburned. So I really like the high ones. And then I also got this SPF 50. This is a rolling lotion. So I thought it was a spray um, and then I read it and it says it's a roll on lotion. So I think it's like one of those roller balls. Um, so that's cool. And then I got this uh, Ultra Sport SPF 31 just in case I run out. And then last but not least, we got a couple of these flosses. I'll bring one with me. And then we got some Advil's. Obviously, I hope, I really hope I don't get headaches. We're like doing all these precautions for not having hangovers. Ida is bringing, she said she's bringing like Alka-Seltzer hangover prevention, like mixes to pour in water. I'm gonna be bringing like Advil. And then also I have these patches you put on your arm that kind of like give you like vitamins. You put it on while you drink or while you sleep and you wake up the next morning and you feel good. So we're doing all the measures to prevent hangovers. My body is very sensitive now. Literally just like one drink. I'll have one glass of wine or one drink and I will get a headache the next day. That's just how my body is. And I chug so much water. I'm a huge water drinker while I like drank alcohol and I still get hangovers. So I actually just discovered that coconut water is really good at preventing and curing hangovers really fast because it's a natural source of electrolytes and it has so much potassium and like sodium that your body use, loses um, when you're drinking. Last time I had a hangover, like a couple months ago, I drank a full thing of coconut water and I felt better within like 30 minutes. I've never healed from a hangover that quick before. So if you ever have a hangover, try coconut water. It's amazing. So I'm definitely gonna need to find some at the hotel and like stock up in the room so I can drink one before I sleep and then like in the morning when I wake up. Um, and so that's all that I got. And I need to go through my like current toiletry bag and already see what I have. I already have most things i mean we just went to antigua like a month and a half ago so i'm pretty like good on like all the travel stuff and i actually think all my toiletries are still packed from last time so i'm gonna go pull out all my little cosmetic toiletry bags i'm gonna put everything in a pile 
and we're gonna just start packing. Okay, hi guys, it's been two hours, about two hours, maybe three hours since I last vlogged, since I got home. I've been spending the last few hours really just trying to discipline myself to not overpack, to just like pick the exact outfits I know I'm gonna wear and do not pack any more than the outfits that I'm going to wear. So I like tried so many things on, I had to like strategize outfits. Like I take this very seriously, guys. I know I sound crazy, but this is how girls are when we go on girls trips and we go to a city like Vegas or Miami. Like we wanna look good, we wanna wear cute outfits. So I finally narrowed down everything I wanted to bring and I have everything in a pile in the middle of my office so that I can squeeze it all into my suitcase. This is everything I'm gonna bring. I have like four days worth of outfits and um, I know this seems like a lot, but we're gonna be wearing like three different outfits each day, like a pool outfit, brunch outfit, going out outfit, casual outfit, sightseeing outfit. I'm going to bring my base carry-on bag and then my mini weekender bag. This is the mini one. The regular size one I think is too big as a personal item, but this I have brought with me as a personal item on the plane before. I brought this with me to Antigua. I brought both of these. This was like the little system I had. And I love it because it's, you know, pretty spacious as a bag. It has all these compartments so I can fit a lot in there, but it also has the little compartment on the bottom. And I put so much stuff in here. I put so many clothes in here. So that's really the only reason why I can bring a carry-on is because I have so much space in here to put stuff. I'll probably put like, the smaller stuff like bikini. So yeah, I'll link my little travel system in my suitcase and then I have my toiletry bag, which like I mentioned, I think is already pretty like full of stuff. Yeah, so I already have all the stuff in here that I need. Oh, I already have makeup wipes. I did not need to buy new ones, that's fine. We'll just have more. And then I have this little cute um, cosmetic bag. I think I'll put like all my makeup in here, all my hair care. Skincare, um, I think I'll just try to fit everything within these two. I won't try to like pack too many cosmetic bags because that just takes up so much space. And I'm not really gonna bring that much stuff anyway, like that many beauty products, just like mini size versions of what I need. So I'm gonna pack the like toiletries and cosmetics last. I wanna tackle the clothes, the shoes, and all that stuff first and just puzzle our way in. I really like packing because I feel like it's a puzzle. I feel like I'm trying to solve a puzzle, like fit the pieces together perfectly, fill every space um, that needs to be filled. I enjoy packing. It's unpacking that I hate. Also pro tip, use packing cubes when you pack because it helps you stay organized and helps you to condense, you know, your clothes a lot more better. This is a set of like, I think seven? It's either like five, six, or seven. There's like a big one and kind of a medium-sized one. There's a couple small ones and then this little uh, toiletry bag. So I'll link those in my description, but there's like a ton on Amazon to choose from. And then I also found my neck pillow, which I will definitely be needing. We are taking a red eye on the way home. We're gonna be flying overnight, so I'm gonna need that to hopefully try to sleep. I can never sleep on planes.
I am very proud of myself because I managed to fit everything in this one packing cube. This is why packing cubes are great because it really saves so much space. So pretty much all my clothes in here, all my like sets going out clothes. Um, and then I started packing stuff in here and I have room left. So that's nice. Maybe I'll wrap up my shoes and put them in there. Or maybe I'll put those in like a smaller um, packing cube because these are all the leftover ones that I have. Um, and then I actually like put so many clothes in here um, in this bag. I put pretty much all the bathing suits and cover-ups. I have like shorts in there. So now I just need to um, put the rest of the clothes probably there. And then I think I can even fit my toiletry bag there. And then on this side, I'll just put my shoes, my purses, my makeup. Um, and then I still have a lot of room in here. I did put a couple pairs of flip-flops here just to save room. So maybe I don't even need to put them there. Maybe I can have some room in here to put those. Yeah, I am doing very well. I'm really shocked at myself for being able to fit everything. We have moved on now to the smaller bags, my toiletry bag, my makeup bag. I'm gonna put all my makeup in here. Usually I bring like trial size makeup, not like my full product. So it fit really good last time when I went to Antigua, everything fit really nicely in here. So I'm gonna try that again. And then I have all my like medicines, all my like vitamins that I bring with me. I have like this trial size um, seed probiotic or uh, symbiotic little vial. And I'm gonna just put some in there. So that's a nice little plus. I think my discount code still works for seed. I will link it. I think it still works. So um, yeah, I have to have that with me. And then yeah, I'm just gonna organize everything, fit everything in these bags. Um, I'm not bringing this bag, but I have like stuff in here I need to transfer over. So we'll do that. Oh, and these are the patches I was talking about earlier. The Rescue Good Patch. You put these on um, during a night of drinking or after a night of drinking before you go to bed and you wake up and no hangover. So I'm gonna definitely bring these with me and my contacts. So I just have a lot of stuff to go through. trying not to overdo it just bring like the basics so these are the only skincare products I'm bringing this um, moisturizer and then I also chose the products that were like the smallest and like skinniest so yeah this moisturizer from La Roche-Posay is like a vitamin C serum or a vitamin C cream so I'll use this both day and night and then this is the eye cream I'm bringing from Dermalogica it's a deep puffing eye gel so again, I can use that both morning and night and then also hyaluronic acid serum. I can use that both morning and night. And then I did have to bring a retinol because I can't go at night without using retinol. And then my Aquaphor lip, um, lip balm. And then for hair products, I'm only bringing these two things. This is the NUX multi-purpose oil. And I love this stuff for travel because you can use this for your skin, face, and hair. So I'm gonna use this for everything. My hair oil when I take a shower, I'm gonna use this for my face as well and also for my body. And then I have to bring my little wax stick because like I have so many baby hairs. Every time I do my hair, I need to always use this. And then I'm gonna just bring a couple scrunchies, this little headband. And then this was the one of the birthday gifts from Sephora this year that I got. This is Way, and it has a bunch of travel size items. The detoxifying shampoo, body cleanser, and the leave-in conditioner. So I'll also have a leave-in conditioner for my hair. And this is why I got this product because I knew it would be perfect for traveling. And then for perfumes, I'm of course bringing only trial travel size ones. This Skylar perfume, it's a brand new scent this um, season, Lime Sands. It smells so good. It smells just like the beach. I think that'll be perfect for um, the pool and all that. And then also my YSL Libre. I'm gonna use that for my night scent. And then I do have this little um, scent from L'Occitane, the, um, I guess it's Neroli Orchard. I think it's like a cherry blossom. That's what it smells like. 
So that'll be nice for like after shower, after bath. And then I think I'll also bring a body spray. This one from Sol de Janeiro, the um, Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. And that's all I'm able to manage. So let me just fit everything in here if I can. Yes, I can. Everything fits. I bring a flat comb so that saves space. Okay, and that's it for my toiletries. Everything fit very, very nicely. We have my wipes, my um, wet ones, and then my makeup wipes are in there. And then I have contacts here. This side is all stuff for bath and shower and like toiletry stuff. So shampoo, conditioner, shaving cream, toothpaste, toothbrush, deodorant, um, lotion, Q-tips, all that stuff. And then here are my like hair and skincare stuff. I take sun protection very seriously. I always apply so much sunscreen and I'm gonna pack my hot tools. Probably I'll bring my curling iron and then my blow drying brush and that's all. So now I will do my medical stuff. and everything fit nicely in here. Of course, you have to bring some Tums. I love this stuff for upset stomach. Every time I travel, I always get upset stomach. So this is from Hilma, and this has like peppermint in it. It has stuff to help with heartburn and indigestion. So I got the capsules, and then I also have these little powders. You can put them in drink. And then we got some CBD drops in case I get anxiety. I am a nervous traveler, so just have those in case. My gum, my probiotics, the vitamins. I have anti-nausea medicine. I do get nauseous too. Oh, I need to pack some liquid IV, totally forgot. Got a couple energy ones. We have a few of the immune support ones and then just some of the regulars. And I think that should be it. Hello you guys, I'm checking in. It's kind of dark. Let me turn on the light in here. Um, I just worked out. It's been it's been a crazy night. It's like literally 11.30 at night right now. I really, really wanted to fit a workout in. At this point, I feel like if I don't work out, like I like am itching and like I like feel like I really need to. So I started working out around like 10.30 and updates with the packing. I have my suitcase down there also my office is just so messy oh my god i have so many things i need to return i bought a lot of stuff for this trip that i ended up not bringing not needing also things that didn't fit or didn't look good so when i get back from vegas i'm gonna have a whole day of just returns so we're gonna just ignore the mess for now but here's an update with the packing i'm gonna turn on another light to make it a little bit more brighter okay so update with the packing everything is in and I managed to fit my toiletry bag. I have like two other purses in this purse. So these are all my purses. This is another purse and like accessories like sunglasses, jewelry, everything's in this bag. And then I have a pair of sandals and I managed to fit all of my makeup. I love this, this um, makeup bag. I don't know if they still sell it. I bought this like last year, but it's so spacious. Like it's really wide. So it fits a lot and I literally managed to fit every single thing and nothing is over 3.4 ounces. So I'll be good to carry everything on. And down here I also have my straw bag. So that's laying there flat, managed to fit that in there. And then in my carry-on bag, I do have a pair of heels here. I brought just one pair of heels that I'm going to wear both nights going out. And then I also have another pair of like pool flip-flops in here. And then we have the medicine toiletry bag. And then in here, I actually packed a bunch of stuff to make goodie bags with. I'm making a bunch of goodie bags for everyone on the trip because I got a lot of these like travel size items and PR packages. I got a bunch of these tiny Estee Lauder night repair serums. So I'm going to put those in the bags. I'm going to obviously put some liquid IV on there. And then I also got a bunch of these little travel size perfumes that I'm gonna put in there. And then Ida is gonna bring some hand sanitizers from her job. So we can put those in there. And then I'm also gonna put in some 
of these emergency packets. I really wanted to get like Advil packets, but I didn't have time. Um, but yeah, and then I also got these little like bags that I've had these for a while. They're like these like little paper bags and I got tissue. So yeah, I think it'll be cute to make little goodie bags, survival kits for everyone. Me and Ida are gonna probably make these on Wednesday night, the night that we get there and like give them out to people the next day. So that'll be fun, I'll vlog that. Cause I'm gonna be vlogging the whole trip. So yeah, we're gonna just squeeze that in there. And then in here I have all the snacks. So this bag isn't done um, being packed yet because I need to add like, you know, my wallet, my glasses, all of the, um, you know, important things that I'm gonna add like last minute. I also need to add like my phone charger, that's gonna go in there. But my electronics case, this is where I pack like my camera equipment, my chargers, uh, memory cards, my AirPods. I'm gonna also pack this last minute too. So that's it, I'm pretty much all done. And then my like intimates are in these two, like socks and all that stuff. But yeah, you guys, I cannot rave enough about this suitcase and also the mini weekender because I fit so much stuff in both. It's so easy to pack and also I just cannot recommend enough to have packing cubes. If you take one tip away from this video, get yourself packing cubes. I'm ending my night with a protein smoothie and I'm watching Friends, the episodes where they're in Vegas, just to get me excited. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm actually gonna start editing this vlog so that I can be ahead. It's kind of late, it's, it's midnight right now. I always do this on trips that I go on. I always like have so much to do the like couple days before I leave and I, stay up late doing stuff, editing, working, random things to do that I need to get done. I really need to like start planning earlier. I need to stop waiting two days before a trip and start planning like a week out. But I mean, it's fine. It always works for me. I always get everything done. I do get enough sleep, so I'm not worried about that. But yeah, guys, the next time I'm gonna vlog, we'll be in Vegas. I'm so excited to show you guys what we do, what we wear, where we go, where we eat. Our girls trips are always so much fun and this time, I can't remember if I mentioned, but we're going for my friend's 30th birthday. So it's gonna be extra fun, extra special and I will show you guys everything and also if you don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I will post content there as well. I'll post a lot of content on Instagram. I always post like literally everything I do and wear and all that stuff on Instagram. So if you have one, go follow me. I'll link it in my description. I'll also link my TikTok profile. So go check me out there and you can just see little snippets of the trip there before I post the vlog. So yeah, I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next vlog. I'll see you all in Vegas. Bye.